Around 2020, hundreds of mountain goats were moved from the Olympic Peninsula to the North Cascades. Researchers tracked 151 of them. To this day, only four are known to have survived. Still, researchers say the efforts were not a failure. It was an effort to help Northwest mountain goats survive. Crews used tranquilizer darts before blindfolding the creatures for their journey to their new environment. The goats were moved because they're not native to the peninsula or harming vegetation and becoming aggressive. In fact, one killed a hiker in 2010. We're seeing more, more visitor impacts and vegetation impacts, so it's like we need to do something. If the goats weren't relocated, Fish and Wildlife officials say they likely would have been hunted and killed by the state. A total of 325 were airlifted from the Olympic Mountains to the North Cascades over the course of three years. But almost all of those goats are now unaccounted for or presumed dead. Was this uh, a failure? No, it wasn't. It wasn't. You know, as in anything in the environment or biology, the picture is more complex you know, the more you delve, delve into it. Patty Happy oversaw the project for Olympic National Park. She says the die off is alarming, but not surprising. Happy concedes stress from the airlift likely contributed to some deaths, but old age and predation were likely factors and dead batteries on radio collars caused researchers to lose track. The tightest relationship to those declines is it's climate change. It's that warmer summers that lead to poor forage conditions. And so the goats just don't go into winter in as good a shape and that leads to die off. There are now only about 3,000 mountain goats in Washington compared to 10,000 60 years ago. And while that is cause for concern, Happy believes the situation isn't as dire as we might believe. I don't think goats are disappearing from Washington state. It just may, may be that some patches of formerly suitable habitat no longer are. Researchers now hope to track mountain goats in areas where they're doing well to find out what's going right there so they can use that information to help goats in other areas survive. In Cedro Woolley, Eric Wilkinson, King 5 News.